I, I subscribe to an ideology that, you know, creativity is coming from places outside of myself. So I don't try and fight or force myself to get past any type of block. You know, I just let it flow naturally. Um, I have friends who work in the industry, you know, as producers, and they work on a lot of the, um, I guess more like the mainstream type music that you would hear on the radio. And they're always, it's like they're always trying to create something. It's like, I gotta make a hit, or I gotta make it sound like this, or I have to write this song in this type of way. Um, I really don't subscribe to that because I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's natural. You know, I, I feel as though when something is, is, is meant to come from you, it's gonna come from you. And if you're, in, if you're in an environment that is gonna stimulate that creativity, then you're not really gonna have a, a lot of blocks. Most of the time when I've had blocks, it's because I've been in an environment that wasn't conducive to creativity. So you have to determine what that is for you. Maybe it's just a quiet room. Maybe it's just you know, sitting down at the keyboard and you know, just kind of messing around with some things. If you put yourself in that place, something's gonna come because basically what you're doing at that point is you're opening yourself up to become a vessel for whatever is going to come through you. So don't, I, I wouldn't even get, you know, hung up in, in, in blocks. Don't, don't put pressure on yourself and say, man, I got to write this, I got to write this. When I recorded this album, Ready to Live, um, I, record, I recorded the album in four days. I did 11 songs in four days, then I, I came back, I recorded in New York, I went, did four, 11 songs in four days, then went back and did another um, three songs. And I had written the songs for the album over the course of like a two and a half, three year period with no intentions of releasing them on a record or anything of that nature. The thing is, when it came time to actually record those songs, I mean, I thought I was in a period of writer's block that whole time, but I was creating music that entire two and a half, three years. So, you know, you just, you just do what's natural. And I, I, I didn't even realize like how many songs I had written not even thinking about it because you can't put that pressure on yourself. You just have to let it flow naturally. Yeah. This indie soul artist, entrepreneur, the entrepreneur Gerard Anthony here and we ready to live right here at HOF Community Arts Center. This program is incredible. If I was a teenager, I would be here every day. I wish there was something like this available when I was a teenager. I mean, this is just a phenomenal program. The, the kids here are incredible. You know, some brilliant minds, uh, brilliant spirits, brilliant uh, creative geniuses just, just waiting to just, just burst out into the massive public awareness. So uh, keep supporting HOF. And this is Gerard Anthony. We're ready to live. Signing off. Peace.